guys, I'm halfway through the day of eating British fast food, but I have had some interesting epiphanies as the day has gone on. So I thought I would give like a little disclaimer, disclosure situation before the video actually begins. I have been messaging loads of my friends and they've given their opinions on British fast food and the different restaurants and chains, which you will see throughout the video. But please bear in mind, I can't cover all of the British fast food chains and restaurants in one day. There's three meals in a day and some snacks. So I can only cover what I can cover and half of them may not be in my area. And I know there are loads in like Wales and Scotland and, and there's a lot up north. And there's, what's that chicken parma? Middlesbrough, I think. Is chicken parma in Middlesbrough? I think it is. Um, I've never had that before, but that's like quite a British one. I don't know. There are so many things that I wish I could show you in this video, but I will let the video roll instead of me keep on being like, is this, 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 this video, when I say I'm so excited for a video, I couldn't think of a video that I've ever been this excited for. I literally woke up and I was like, I'm so ready to film this. So today's video was inspired by one of your comments, but I cannot for the life of me find the comments. I'm so sorry whoever requested this, but I'm gonna be eating only from British fast food chains. I am doing chains because I think it is more exciting, but if you do want me to try things that are a bit more niche to like the Southeast of England or a bit more niche in general, like there's only one or two of them. So I know there are gonna be comments like, you should have tried here, you should have tried here. So I'm really sorry about that, but um, it is what it is. I'm gonna do my best to cover the exciting ones. So for breakfast, I'm gonna go and venture into town and get some grub. I won't lie, breakfast was the hardest one for me because it's quite hard racking my brains. And also there are probably ones that I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna do. And then people are gonna be like, you know they are available here. So I have done my best Google search, but sometimes Google lies. I know, shock horror. Google isn't the most trustworthy. I'm just gonna say it. But anyway, let's get going. I'm hungry. I'm ready for this video and I think it's gonna be fun. Hi punk, so we're, we've we've gone to Costa. That's not fast food. That's fast food. That's a, I would class it as a bakery. That's not fast food. So you don't, in there for a soft So what, you wouldn't donut. say Costa's a fast food place? No! And I'm about to show you, but I am a bit disappointed because they didn't have any of their vegan options. I'm not vegan, um, but I'm dairy intolerant, so I always get the dairy intolerant option, obviously. And I was so annoyed because as I came out of Costa, what did I stumble upon? Greg's, and I'd completely forgotten Greg's as a breakfast option, and they actually have some quite good accidentally dairy-free things. So I was well triggered at myself, because this breakfast, guys, I'm not gonna lie, this isn't how the whole video is gonna go, so don't be like, oh, rubbish breakfast, click out. It's gonna get better, because I never really have breakfast out anyway, I always eat breakfast at home, so this was quite a new experience for me. Firstly, I got a drink. Now I'm really annoyed, because literally, as she stabbed the straw through the thing, I was like, no straw, already had stabbed the straw through. It is a paper one and I still haven't managed to find a plastic cup situation that I like, but when she was preparing it, she was like, oh my gosh, this looks so lovely. So I don't know if this is the first time it was made, but it did say new on the menu. It is a strawberry infused tea. Girl doesn't know what that means, but it, and she was like, it's really sour. So, wow. It's not super sweet, which is quite nice actually. Hmm, I quite like that. Very refreshing. This isn't really a breakfast option, but basically at Costa, if you are watching from another country, um, Costa is a basically British version of Starbucks. I will insert some clips. And it, but the only thing is, I would personally say it doesn't really stay on top of the trends. You know how Starbucks is like, oh, this, that, that, that. And they actually have some good vegan options or they have, it doesn't really do that. All of Costa's breakfast baps have milk in. Every single one. Bacon bap, sausage bap, sausage and egg, bacon bap. Whatever bacon, whatever bap you want has milk in. So I went for a chicken and bacon sandwich, which doesn't. But then I was like, oh, this is a perfect mid-morning snack. What the heck? Look at this. It's a, what do they call it? Walking gingerbread. Because you put your fingers through the holes and you can make it walk. Okay, so take, I take back what I said about them not being innovative. This is fun. This, I can get behind. Oh my word. I don't know if 
I took a really big bite or if that was just so dry, but it literally felt like I was never gonna. That wasn't even that big of a bite. So dry. There's literally nothing in there. There's no like saucy. Normally they have like mayo or. Man, this is not a good sound. I'm not impressed with you, Costa. And the more I drink this, the more I'm not a fan of it. It's quite tea -y. Imagine, right, you're from Finland and you've come to the UK for the first time. You're like, you stroll into Costa, you've just come off the flight. You stroll into Costa, like, oh, what British sandwich can I try? You stumble upon this roast chicken and bacon sandwich. You can, you take your first bite. You're so hungry. You've been up for a long time. It's your first like sandwich in England and it's dry as heck. Costa, come on, up your game. Their first impression of a British sandwich. And it's, it's not even anything. Look at all of that empty space. So it is lunchtime and I've just been to the shopping centre and I've got one of my personal faves. This Whenever I come to this shopping centre, and I know it's available in more than one place in the UK, so if you come, please go. It's called Tortilla, and it's basically the subway of Mexican. So it's not like British food, but it's a British chain. Do you get what I mean? So, oh my gosh, I am so excited. I've got a burrito. This is going to get really messy, and I'm in my sister's dress. This is why you don't wear your sister's clothes, because... You will get, I'm just gonna have to lay out the napkins on my lap because, um, oh, look how thick it is. It's literally, they know how to do it. There's really not much Mexican food in the UK, so maybe this is rubbish and it's just all I know. But for me, there's not one element I don't enjoy about this, other than the fact it's messy. I love Mexican food. Well, I love what I think is Mexican food because let's be real taco bell and tortilla oh i've been banging i've been banging on about being mexican and it's real california camera died but basically but it said on the bag real californian inspired burritos and tacos so it's actually californian not mexican and then i was googling it just to make sure that it was a british chain and it was founded in london by a californian couple so technically still british chain um, but honestly, I highly recommend it. Oh my gosh, I look like something. What do I look like? What do I look like? I can't think right now. Um, but I'm kind of stressed about picking dinner. I can't, I've been searching. I've literally been here for about half an hour because I'm like, what would summarize British fast food cuisine the best? Cause I feel like I've not done a good job as of this far. So I'm a bakery student, so I gotta judge a bit of cake. And I personally have never been to Lola's Cupcakes, but I know that is a fast food chain that is taking over. Like I Technically, I think it is fast food because of the definition saying it's pre-prepared food, which it is, because it's a cupcake. But I'm still puzzled on the whole fast food topic. I've literally seen Lola's Cupcakes everywhere. I feel like it's becoming more popular than Millie's Cookies. Um, I'm seeing it everywhere. So this is Lola's Cupcakes, and they're like a chain from London that has branched out into the rest of the world and they do many different allergy friendly options. No wonder this was so expensive. Look at the elaborate packaging. Okay, so this is a cherry and pistachio mini cupcake and then this is a vegan brownie. The vegan cherry, cherry and pistachio. Doesn't look like cherry. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Oh wow, that was good. Mm. Let's go for the vegan brownie now. Are you ready? That's so good. That is 10 out of 10. Well done, Lola's Cupcakes. That doesn't even taste vegan. There is not one single element of veganness that I'm getting from either of those two things. Oh my gosh, that was really quite, that's quite good. I asked my friends for their opinions on uh, fast food restaurants. One of my friends said Weatherspoons, but then one of my other friends was like, that's a pub, so it doesn't count. This is, is Kicking off. Okay, I'm covering my friend's number there. Oh my gosh, my finger's twitching. Can you see that? What the heck? Okay, so I'm covering this number, but as you can see, I choose Greg's, 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 Percy Ingalls. I've never heard of that, Akira. What are you on? I know Akira's name is spelt wrong. Um, oh, this is fun. Guys, so I just got back from youth, and I think A, this is the latest I've ever vlogged, B, this is the latest I've ever eaten, C, I'm eating food that I've never eaten before. This is now this right here is classic British 
fast food cuisine. This is basically the same that you'll get on any high street. Fried chicken and chips, and it just looks like this in a little box. And they have like different meal combos, and I've never had the chicken, I always just get chips. Do you want a mug? No, no. Who are you talking to? The camera. Oh, then I go to bed. No, I'm you, what are you doing tomorrow? Oh, it's really good. Oh, I just got a waft. Really good. Enjoy. Thank you. That's my dress, by the way, guys. <laughs> no. Love you. Love you more. I don't know if it's the same in other countries. These little fast food places where they do all genres. Pizza, kebab, chicken, burgers, everything. This is really good. And these were dairy free. I just got chicken nuggets and chips and it's so good. I think they're better. And the people in the shop were lovely. They told me to have a lovely evening. And I was like, no, you guys are the ones that are working. I'm just here picking up my dinner. You are working, so you have a lovely evening, actually. So there's a chain near me called Molly's, and we have them dotted around, and it's fried chicken. Maybe in my next video, I can try because I've never had it before. But basically, we have a lot of fried chicken chains. Not chains, because they're just like little individual shops or kebab shops. So I looked up three different fish and chip shops, and all were shut. They all shut at like nine o'clock. What's that then? I don't want fish and chips after nine. Also, bargain this mass, this thing of chicken and chips and a drink, three forty nine. Bargain. I feel for the first time in my life I'm living like a proper twenty year old. Like I'm having fried chicken and chips after a late night out on a Friday. <laughs> to be fair, I was helping out my youth, and it is only ten to eleven. But for me, this is wild. I don't do this. Sometimes there's like four next door to each other. I shall debrief with you in the morning. I'm gonna finish off my chips and chicken. I mean, you've got to enjoy a little bit of fast food now and then, haven't you? Hi peeps, so yesterday was, I actually feel like it was a success in the end. I was getting really concerned because I was like, oh my gosh, I there are so many British fast food chains that I haven't covered. And I put it on my friend's group chat and it was literally like all of their opinions. Emily's favourite was Spudge You Like. We had um, ones from up north such as Pound Bakery, which I've not even heard of. Oh, Harry Ramsden, a fish and chip shop. There were so many great British fast food chains that I completely forgot. And I didn't even have this, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. <laughs> I love it! It looks like it's it actually looks like it's Although our parents always told us to not play with our food, but this, this is amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any other video ideas, let me know. Follow me on Instagram for more of this quality content. This is the sort of stuff I post on my Insta. What are some... What would you consider the classic British fast food chains? Fast food Mackey's, but it's not really no, British. No, no, it's not British. But it has to be British. What, like, really from... Get classic Br British. Morley's. Morley's chicken. Spudgy yeah. like. Morley's Tortilla. Wasabi. There's loads. Are they British? Yeah, they're, they're made chains. in Britain. Wimpy? And I feel like that's quite British. Yeah, though. I didn't know if... I, I think Wimpy is actually British. Because you don't really see it. Frankie and Benny's. I don't really rate it. No, but, but that's not fast food. That's sitting restaurant, isn't it? No, that's American. Oh, no, Five guys. So Americans. They I actually... Such good food. They do. They have Taco Bell. Drive through Taco oh, Bell. Oh, Chipotle. Chipotle. They're literally all American. Australia. If you think about like Australia, I know about that like, one called Bunnings. Have you heard of Bunny? I've heard of Bunnings. No it's like a it sausage and bacon sandwich situation, I believe. Um, I'm trying to think of other Nando's. ones. I know Nando's it's not American, is but British, it's I think. So, if you have any, what British fast food chains do you think of? Even my friend, right, from North London, told me about this fast food chain that I'd never even heard of. So it's like, there are so many fun ones to try out. So, what would you have tried? Chicken Cottage. That's chicken cottage. Yeah, favourite chicken. I was gonna go yeah. to that, but I didn't. A lot of them are more like just little, chicken. Like this is what I, Yeah, they're all just like little off. They're not chains. What you'd go for like a Friday night. Yeah, that's what I did last night. Yeah. It was great. I actually loved it. And like Chinese takeaway, they're all just little independent but ones. Yeah, they're not actually chain chains. And what are some Welsh ones? I actually Welsh. messaged my friend. Um, Emily, she was the one who said Spudgy Like was her favourite British fast food chain. That's disgusting. They said Greg's. To be fair, Greg's. It's not, well, that's not fast food. That's fast food. That's a, I would class it as a bakery. That's not fast food. So you, you don't, go in there for a soft So what, you wouldn't say Costa's a fast food place? No! Are you mad? That's why I didn't say Costa. 
Fast food is defined fast food as. Is defined as from burgers, chips. No, fast food is pre prepared food that you can take Press on the go. Fresh. Oh, evidently, even there's going to be some of the comments are going to be like, you should have gone here. Fast food is not a coffee shop or like a garage place that you stop off and get a sandwich at. That's not fast food. Traditionally, for me, fast food is in. A burger. You get like. So I got food Mexican. It's not necessarily good for you, but it's good for your soul. No, I don't know about that. That's my opinion. That's my opinion! <laughs> anyway, love you guys loads. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Peace Definitely out. Definitely not Costa or Starbucks. Mm.